tournament beating Laramie County one nothing today? Uh, you know, I was pr proud of the way the girls performed. Um, a big, a big part of the victory, I think, was making the proper adjustments with our formation, with the personnel that we had on, um, and then uh, in our back line and our goalkeeping, second consecutive shutout. If they keep doing that, uh, it's going to be difficult for us to lose any games. Um, being at home, uh, getting the Laramie on the back end of two games, is, that's a tall order for any team. So. I thought that the home field advantage and the way the schedule was set up also was to our advantage. And then offensively, you got a real nice goal from Marty Rubicato. We'll talk about that play. Yeah, you know, she's due. She has had a couple chances. Uh, I think she's had a really good chance uh, every game. And for her to, to bury that goal today with her mom and dad in the stands making the trip out from Garden City, is, that's a special moment for her and her family. It was definitely a goal that gave us the lift that we needed. Um, and she took it. She took it proper. You know, Carla gave her a great ball after doing some good things, and she hit it without hesitation. You know, if she was going to miss the goal, the ball's going to go a long ways. So she took it, took it well, and gave up her team the, the win. All right. Now moving on. Now, uh, how do you get your team to stay focused after winning two games against top five competition? Well, that's a great question. I think one of the things that's always going to help us is our depth. And that little bit of fear in every girl's mind that if you know if I don't perform, I'm going to lose my my starting position or I'm going to lose minutes. So our own team depth, I think, is going to help us stay motivated and keep us moving forward. Um, and just you know make the girls aware of each and every opportunity that that we they don't come back around again. And we've got to capitalize each and every day that we roll the ball out for those matches. In Northern Oklahoma, up next, what do you know about them? You know, I know that. Uh, Michael Duroy is taking over the men's coach, so he's coaching both programs. Uh, he has a strong men's team every year, uh, usually has a good international contingent. I'm expecting probably a little bit of that and probably a little bit stronger team than they've had the past couple of years. Thanks, Coach.